Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the JMB Aircraft YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at the Rotax 915 IS engine, uh, specifically how each generator works. So the 915 IS engine is equipped with two generators, a generator A and a generator B. They both have their individual functions and I want to go over how they work under the normal circumstances and what happens if we lose generator A and if we lose generator B. And then we'll also cover if we have the rare failure of losing both generators. Under normal operations, we have generator A powering regulator A, which then flows into fuel pump one, fuel pump two, and then the ECU. On this diagram, underneath the ECU, you see lane A and lane B. These have nothing to do with the generators themselves, but we're going to cover that in another video. So again, generator A is responsible for keeping the engine running. This is the sole duty of generator A. Going to generator B, we see it powers regulator B, which then goes directly to the battery. So generator B's function is to keep charge in the battery. So once we have sufficient voltage, you will see this generator just maintaining the battery. So for example, when you first boot up your VL3 or you turn the master on and the avionics master, before you start your engine, you'll have a negative draw of energy. Once your engine is running, you'll start to see positive amps being charged back into the battery. Once you reach a sufficient voltage, you will no longer see this positive amps. You'll just see zero. Sometimes occasionally you'll see plus one again because the engine is maintaining a charge. And this is generator B in real time. So what happens if we lose generator A? Of course, we will not have an engine failure. Generator B will take over the role of generator A. And it does this by transferring power from regulator B via the fuse box to regulator A. Once it does this, it goes further into fuel pump one, fuel pump two, and then the ECU, and of course the engine. Under these circumstances, when we don't have a generator A, generator B will no longer be able to supply positive charge to the battery. This means all of our avionics, all of our aircraft lights, and any other app appliances in the airplane that are hooked directly to the battery, will no longer be receiving a positive charge. Many times this is not a big issue because a lot of equipment, for example, uh, a Garmin G5, will have its own backup battery and can run anywhere from two to four hours. So what happens if we have both a failure of generator A and generator B? If we have a total loss of generators, we will initially have an engine out situation. If we have enough altitude and sufficient time, we can flip the backup battery switch. And what this does is changes the circuit from the battery to go directly to the fuel pumps and the ECU. And we can run the engine off of battery power alone. It is important in this type of situation to turn off any unnecessary equipment. So if you're on a, a flying a VFR airplane in a VFR day, uh, you can shut off any, any uh, nav lights, landing lights. If you have two Garmin G3Xs, maybe shut one off and leave the other one on. And this way you can extend the, range, extend the range of how far you can fly on battery power alone. Thank you guys for watching. I'm hoping this will clear up how the generator functions on the Rotax 915. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll be sh make sure to get back to you as soon as possible.